As the November 11 governorship election in Kogi State draws nearer, many politicians are switching allegiance from the ruling or progressive Congress APC, the biggest beneficiary, in some instance, the Labour Party, lost all its 21 local government chairmen to the APC. Also, the former deputy governor of the state, Yomi Awoni, dumped the People's Democratic Party, PDP, for the APC. A former federal lawmaker, Ismail Ina Hussein, popular, popularly known as Soul Lover, has defected to the ruling party alongside former women leaders in the People's Democratic Party at Igala Mela Odulu local government area of the state. Did you get that right? How can you get it right? Igala. <laughs> <laughs> Is that from the Igala side of the Yes, it's okay. Kogis. You know the... Okay. The Kogis is a battleground. Mm. It's a battleground because the biggest local governments are in Kogis. You know? When, if you want to win governorship election, you must do well in Kogis. Mm. And it will appear that the APC, the, uh, the governor, the Abelo has focused on that place because the rate at which they welcomed, especially PDP members from uh, Kogi East, has been alarming to say the least. And it has the point has to be made that by the peculiar nature of our politics, when on the eve of an election you are seeing people defecting, mm. it has big ramifications. The movement. The election, yes. Because a lot of these people are mobilizers in their respective uh, uh, constituencies. And when they move, the way they are moving into the ruling party, it is bad news for the parties from where they are defecting. If you see, our politics thrives on structures. You can be popular, but if you do not have structures on ground, mm. you will not have the organization, you will not have the personnel, mm. you will not have the field game, what they call the field game. Mm. That is on election day, the strategy, the methods that you use to get people out and vote, you won't have it. So the plus for APC is that a lot of these people, they are big, in their respective uh, um, constituencies. Let's look at Kogis, Senator Atai Doko, two time Senator, two time House of Reps member, Ambassador Isaac Ono, former Nigerian Ambassador to Botswana, House of Assembly member uh, before he became Ambassador, and uh, he is said to be the, he is described the leader of the Omala uh, politics. That's where, uh, even during the Ibro regime, he was like the face of the Ibro regime. He was very powerful. He defected. Then, Ibrahim Mohamed Idris, former House of Rest member and son of the former governor oh, God, yeah. of Kogi State, Ibrahim Idris, he also defected. Ibro. Ibro. Mm. Honorable uh, Mubarak. Uh, Abuche, Musa, they call him emperor. He is a youth mobilizer and a philanthropist from Ida. He too, he has, he's very big in the property uh, sector in our country. In fact, when um, uh, the other day, um, Mubad died, he was the first to donate money to the family and promise a uh, um, scholarship for his son. He too uh, defected. All the House of Assembly candidates for PDP in the last election from Kogi East, they were also all defected. Then the media passed House of Reps member representing that federal constituency, Honorable uh, Sumaila Ina, known as uh, Solova. We mentioned mm -hmm. him in the script. He also has left. There is uh, Akowe, he's a businessman, philanthropist with. Uh, 
extensive interest in the Niger Delta. He left the PDP. He's from Ofu. He, he, he has left. Kogi State Youth Leader of the AP, of the PDP. Mm -hmm. uh, Ogu Alassan. He too left. Then all the former political office holders that work for uh, Captain Wada, including the former deputy governor, uh, including the former commissioner for local government and chief Tracy affairs, uh, that's Sadiq Ainoko, uh, who is from Ejile, alongside all political office holders, uh, including the deputy governor, Yomi Awone, they defected to APC. Then this former speaker of the Kogi Status of Assembly, Donen Captain Wada, and briefly under uh, Governor Yabelo, right, Honorable Momo Jimo Lawan, also left the PDP along with his supporters to join the ruling party APC. In a season of election, mm. when you have this gale of defections, mm. it portends negativity, especially for the party where they are defecting from. And whether we like it or not, in Kogi State, is the battle is usually between APC and PDP. Right now, we have a candidate from the SDP, um, uh, Marita Ajaka, who is trying to break through and stop that domination of uh, uh, PDP and APC. Mm. It's All a right. tough job. It's okay. a tough job, no doubt, but um, with the way they are defecting, All right. sends a clear message Let's that this final APC breather. is not... Uh, we'll be right back APR, uh, after this commercial break. Still, journalist standards, and we're looking at uh, the off season election in Kogi states. That's just 10, nine, 10 days' time. And, Dipo, when you want to look at the mix today, Senator uh, Natasha has just been sworn in by the Senate uh, president representing Kogi Central. That uh, for the if it's going to be a boost for the People's Democratic Party in the Central Senatorial District. <laughs> <laughs> well, I have um, looked at the scenario, and unfortunately, the calculations don't seem to fit the picture, the likes of the governorship candidates of the PDP, the Nomelai, and others are painting. And the reason is this. Natasha is from the Central. Mm. The PDP candidate is from the West. Mm. So what the Central is getting from PDP is a lesser position. So the big question is, will the people of the Central not prefer to have the governor from among them? Well, their own son. Yeah, that's their own son. So it's clear that no matter how you know, we say it in Yoruba land. You know, we will, you will first take your own and support because that is the power base. A deputy governor does not have the power of a governor at all. So you have, that has knocked that out. And then, not to talk of other factors like the big wigs in the APC who are from the central, including the governor. So it's yes, yeah, good for the PDP to have gained um, that position via the court. But don't also forget that the APC um, elected senator for Kogi East was also confirmed today by the court. Yes. Yeah. As validly yeah. elected. Yeah. Yeah. Very popular guy. Yes. So it's also confirmed. It's so it's now... The, Kina, the mm -hmm. biggest local government in Kogi State. So it's 2-1 now in terms of senatorial district distribution. So that fact that Natasha won is good, and it brings something to the PDP. It, but it will it make has, it more competitive. You know, it has... And it will give them some confidence. So, you know, it's a confidence booster, but I would rather vote for the governor from my own end than the deputy governor. Or a promissory note of, we'll give you this, we'll give you that, if the PDP wins. What role will this fringe candidate, I'll call them not from the major political party, play ADC, ABGD, you know, and do you see them playing a kind of dominant role 
the party formidable Abegide, enough to cut across. Abejide has always won election with a small party. Nobody has been able to defeat him in his constituency. Nobody. In his constituency? In his constituency. Mm. Nobody. Mm. Nobody. Even in this last uh, um, election, Ashwajus votes were affected because some of the women were voting his party. Mm. They eventually won. APC eventually won because of oh, Ashwaju and all that. But, and people will recall that Abejide worked for Ashwaju in that election. Mm -hmm. Even bought vehicles. But his popularity in his part of Yagbalan is so strong that they still voted. A lot of votes still went to ADC. So it's con the Despite contest will be shared between him and Dino. Yes, it's a, a straight contest between him and Dino for Kogi West. Mm. So whoever gains the edge in the Lokoja area, because that's where the bulk of the votes are, mm. that's the uh, Lokoja Kutu area. Kutu Kafi. That's the person likely mm. to take um, that, that uh, senatorial zone. So Lokoja will be very, very competitive. It, it's always been, you know. And do you know in, in um, previous elections, has always done well. In local you know, local is very cosmopolitan. You know, it's always done well in that area. This election, in my view, East is the decider. Because out of the biggest seven local governments in Kogi State, three are from Kogi East. Mm. Out of the big the seven biggest, three are from Kogi East. The Kina alone is one of the largest local governments in Nigeria in terms of population. So you can't joke with the votes from uh, the Kina. So people will be counting, the governor and the um, candidate of the APC will be counting on Jibril Nisai Chocho and the man they call in Jesus' name, mm -hmm. one of the rising uh, politicians in Kogi State, who is in the House of Reps now. They are both from that uh, constituency. They will, will be counting on them to deliver for the uh, candidate of the APC. I know that it's early days. Sometimes within 48 hours, things can change in politics. Mm. But mm. if anyone tells you that these defections are not mm. strengthening the APC, that person doesn't know what he's saying. Mm. Because the defections are cutting across. Mm. Today, we've largely, uh, largely talked about Kogi East. Yeah. But they are defecting in Kogi West as well. It's literally everywhere, and I'm just wondering what was going on in the central. Okay, yes. do you see? Do you see a situation whereby everybody will want to hold on to their own areas? That's okay. Look, somebody like um, the SDP man is the candidate for the Gala people, and the all the Gala people want to rally around him. And um, Dino is from the Okun side. Everybody wants to rally around him. And the Bira people want to rally around the APC guy. Do you see that kind of ethnic division? If, if, if we go by what we saw in the senatorial election, mm. that won't work. The only place where you had this kind of very close contest was in the central. That was the only place. If that gap had been like it was, in other districts. Mm. I'm sure Matacha would not have won, but it was close. Mm. In other places, you had 108,000 to mm. about 70 something, 80 something. But in this case, it was 50 something thousand to 50 something thousand. Yes. Mm. Close. Mm. It, so wasn't a, it, was, it, it wasn't a landslide. Not a landslide. Even after the deduction, you it know, was still close. Very close. So you, you, you don't have that kind of contest and think that. Because it is governorship, it's going to change. It won't. People are with their parties. And that's what we do largely. We, we vote by parties. Mm -hmm. We know right. those we want. Mm -hmm. And really. that is to add to the fact that a lot of people from that state will not want to lose touch with the center when you have the APC government. I guess that's why these defections are happening. That's why it's happening. Because, because I don't know how to explain. It's, it's, Maybe they can sense that it looks like these people will win and they are just moving. You know, I heard, yes, I heard time. Mm. So that's what I see. And then the ruling party would always, in terms of structures, always have an edge over others. Yeah. Structures, well-oiled, mm -hmm. structures that are there to be used when you need them.
So it's, um, it's an election that is tantalizing. I can't wait to <laughs> see this election happen, but I know that certain things will happen. There was something that I talked about a few days back when Ebiras had two, two of their sons on the ballot. On the, ballot. the other one was deputy. And that uh, uh, reminds me of what he said earlier. Abateme mm. Usman. Okay. Abateme Usman, deputy to Cornelius Adebayo, mm. uh, a, against Adamuaka. Of yeah. course, they rejected the deputy Go the slot. candidate and voted the mass for Adamuaka. Mm. All right. At the end, uh, mm -hmm. See, Adebayo won the election. Okay. But the so Ebiras yeah. voted overwhelmingly for wow. their son, who was the governor. I want to thank you, Dotun Oladipo. I want to thank you, Babaji de Kolade Otitoju. And that's our offering today. Join us tomorrow for another episode of the program. You can watch the repeat broadcast tonight at 11 p.m. And don't forget to join us this Sunday from 1.30 to 3.30 for journalist hangout on Sunday. We're on YouTube, youtube.com slash TVC News Nigeria. I'm Hayo Dili Uzubakum. See you on Sunday.